Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here at Sweetwater and I'm here with some really awesome exciting products from Rolly. I've got the Rolly Seaboard Rise, I've got the Rolly Seaboard Block which is a smaller two octave version of the Rise and then the Light Pad Block and also the Loop Block that goes along with the Light Pad Block. These products are really cutting edge, have a lot of technology in them and features that make them really unique and stand out in all music products today. So let's dive right in and take a quick look at them. Now what makes these Rolly products unique is what they call their five dimensions of touch. So they call it 5D touch. The first of those is when you strike the key. Actually, you know, I can show you with the wonderful program that comes with these products that you get as a free download is Equator, the Equator software. And it, it shows a really cool visual representation of the five dimensions of touch. The first dimension of touch is when you strike the key and you can see in the Equator software on the curve that they have there under strike, which is measuring the velocity is the strike of the key. So that's the first dimension. And then there's glide, which is when you glide your finger across the keys. And the really cool thing is that the, the rise right here is actually set up to 48 notes, 48 glide or pitch bend. So I can go all the way from the top note of the keyboard and glide all the way down to the bottom one. And I can either glide on the two bars that are on the one, there's one on the top, or I can glide to the bottom bar. Like that. You can also glide through the keys and you can glide from key to key or just glide all the way through all the keys. So let me show you that. It's, I mean, it's amazing to me as being a mostly a piano player that grew up playing grand pianos and keyboards to be able to get that amount of expression on an instrument like this, on a keyboard-like instrument. It's really cool. Although I would venture to say that the Rolly stuff is really its own beast. This is really a different instrument than a piano. It's a, it's a whole new uh, fun thing to explore that I've enjoyed playing. So that's glide, but then there's also slide, which is when rather than going left or right, it's when you go up or down on the key. So if I start playing on the bottom of this note, So when you go up, you can see that on the slide, the slide curve will move along with it in the equator software. And that is queued up to affect one of the envelopes and you can see the level go up as I slide up the key. So that's another thing you can do to get a lot of expression out of the instrument. Or you can even go between instruments. So I have a string and choir patch that's set up that's in equator. And I'll start in strings, but as I go up, you'll hear it transition to choir. So hear how cool this is. And again, because it's polyphonic, I can go, I can just have my right hand go into the choir and I can have my left hand stay on the key and continue playing strings. And I can use all the dimensions of touch at the same time. It's, it's so cool and so expressive. There's also when you press the key. So a common feature to a lot of keyboards is aftertouch. What makes the Rolly stuff really unique is that it has polyphonic aftertouch. So a lot of times when other keyboards have aftertouch, if you add extra pressure to a key, it'll affect all the keys. It'll affect the whole keyboard as a whole. But on the Rolly, it'll be independent of all the other keys.
Then there's also when you lift off of the key. So it will actually sense how fast, how slow you lift off the key. So you can hear after I let off the key, if I let it off real fast, there's this extra pop, there's this extra sound that happens. But if I lift it off slowly, you don't hear it. So that's lift. An important point about Rolly's products, including the Rise and also the Seaboard Grand, that's a bigger 88 key, and the blocks here, they all use all five dimensions of touch. So they can all do the same thing. So here's a little demonstration. Same thing on the block. And I can do the same thing on the light block. Including pressure. So, so amazing that they are all so versatile. Another really important software program for your computer that Rolly offers with these products is Rolly Dashboard. Especially if you're going to be using it with DAW software, you need to have a way to control all the dimensions of touch and things like changing the octave and other settings on your Rolly keyboards and blocks. So you can go to Rolly Dashboard, which is right here, and you can control things like your MIDI settings. So you can change, you know, if you want to do a uh, multi instrument. Uh, patch and you want to have several interfaces open and you want to set different MIDI channels, you can control all those instruments with the five dimensions of touch by changing your MIDI channel settings. You can change channel pressure from either normal channel pressure or poly after touch. You can change the pitch so you can adjust the octave, which you can actually do on the rise with these buttons here, or then you can change the octave on the block here, or you can change it in the app. And you can see that if I go on blocks, the light pad block right here is recognized in the program, and the seaboard blocks also recognized. And of course, the rise is also, also will show up. So actually, as a quick demonstration, this is actually not plugged in by any cord, but you see it'll disappear from the app, but then if I put it right back in, it'll immediately get recognized, so it immediately syncs up. Uh, you can also control all those same settings on the block, but you can also do tons of other things with it. There are presets already in the app, like you can use it as a controller to control the rise, you can use it to control Ableton Live. I have it set right up, uh, I have it set right now just to be a note grid, and it's actually set on a C major scale. So the notes are all designed that scale, but you can set it to be other scales, you can set it to be all chromatic, and the blocks will light up to show the scale that you've set. So back to the settings, you can change the strike sensitivity, the glide, slide, all five dimensions of touch you can change with these settings right here. And it adjusts it sort of in the way you would adjust a velocity curve for, you know, velocity for the touch of a keyboard, except now you're affecting things like lift sensitivity and slide and glide, things like that. So Rolly Dashboard gives you complete control over your Rolly products. Really awesome. Let's take a quick look at the buttons and the I.O. that are on the different uh, keyboards that we have here. So on the Seaboard Rise, you have these Rise controls right here, which will show up in the Equator app. So these are queued up to control different parameters in this uh, pad that I have up right now. So let me show you that. <laughs> Yeah. 
So it's cool how the three Rise controllers give you some control over the Equator software so you can morph your sounds as you're playing them. There's also the direction pad here which allows you to control the sound in even more ways. So check this out. <laughs> There's also the octave key, which I've talked about before, which allows you to switch octaves. Pretty standard there. Then there's also the power button, which is right next to it, and you hold it down, it'll turn it on and off. Then these direction buttons up here will actually change sounds in the Equator app, so... The I.O. and the Seaboard Rise includes a input for an expression pedal or for a sustain pedal, which I have plugged in right now, actually. It's also USB, which is how I'm controlling the Equator software, and you can use that to control a DAW or other software you have on your computer. And then there's also a port for power if you want to plug it in, but it is running on USB power, and it'll also charge and run on battery, as will all the other products here. In addition to these products, Roly makes some really cool apps that work with their devices. I have their app called Noise up right now, which I have my light pad block synced up to. Just so you know, too, this is the loop block, and it works in conjunction with the light pad block. And they're magnetic, so while the block, this block right here, is already connected to the phone, all I have to do is snap this one on and now they're both linked up to the phone. So noise is really cool because it lets you create music with the blocks right away and even if you don't know a lot about music it'll also help you and give you some sort of tutorials to get you started. So just as a demo I have something that I've been working on and uh, I'm gonna create a little piece right now just live just not sure exactly what's gonna come out and, uh, and show you how you can make music with the noise app. Uh, the cool thing about the loop block is you can record you can control, rather, a lot of the things in the app from the loop block. So you can channel through menus with this button here. You can change uh, the metronome. You can change whether it's locking the rhythm you're playing or not, if it's syncing the rhythm. Uh, you can start recording. You can stop recording. You can change through sounds. It's really cool. So basically, you almost don't even need to use the phone, although you can, but you can do everything from right here. So here we go. Here's a little demo.
So there you go. I used a lot of parameters now for that loop and changed a lot of different things in the app. What you can tell from the app is that as you change things on the phone, the blocks can control all the same parameters. So I was bringing tracks in and bringing them back out. I was also using doing some effects uh, with moving around like this and you can see how it's moving on the app. Doing things like delay and changing cutoff and doing some cool low pass filter kind of stuff. Um, so this app is so awesome. I mean, that's just, just me messing around. It's like so much fun on it. And you can also do, just to show you, I was saying if you don't know a lot about making music, uh, you can still use this app and have a lot of fun with the blocks too. So if you click learn, which is the little button, it kind of looks like a, uh, like a graduation cap. You click on it and then it'll give you, it'll show you some patterns and you can try to play those patterns. And it'll, and it'll actually show up on the blocks too, and you can try to play them. This has been a brief look at these awesome products from Roly. If you have any other questions about them or you're interested in getting some for yourself, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer and they'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching.